All right, well, the Falcons didn't have a fifth or a sixth round pick, but they had two back-to-back -back picks in the seventh round, and I'm here with the first of those back-to-back -back picks, DeMarco Hellams from the University of Alabama. How does it feel to be a Falcon? Uh, it feels great. Um, you know, Atlanta is you know, it's a great team. Um, you know, it's a great city, and, uh, you know, it's definitely a, a team that I would just, you know, start building with. So it seems like you're at home right now. Who are you, who are you celebrating with right now? Oh, I'm celebrating with my family and close friends. Uh, you know, there's some people who, you know, been supporting me for a long time. So when you got the phone call, you felt the vibration. Were you around all of your family? What were you doing when you got the call? Uh, yeah, I was, I was around all my family. Um, you know, my phone started vibrating, and, uh, you know, everybody started looking at me. You know, I, I, told I didn't know who it was, and, you know, so I, you know I, I answered the phone. So when you answered the phone and you knew it was an Atlanta area code, what did Terry Fontenot and Arthur Smith say to you on the phone? Oh, you know, they just said, you know, I was a great player. Um, you know, that, you know, was I ready to be a Falcon? You know, that they couldn't wait to have me and you know, be ready when I, when I come in the building. You are a great player. I mean, I'll say that too. You're the leading tackler coming from the University of Alabama. Playing for the Crimson Tide, what was that experience like for you? Uh, it was great. Um, you know, I met some lifelong friends, um, you know, at the University of Alabama uh, playing football. You know, I had the opportunity to be coached by a great coach like Coach Saban. You know, I won a lot of games, won some championships, and, uh, you know, I definitely made a lot of lifetime memories there. You know, I was also able to get my degree, so I definitely love Alabama. You mentioned Nick Saban, and, I mean, he is one of the most, if not the most legendary coach in college football. Is there any kind of funny stories or interesting story that you have about him? <laughs> uh, no, I really don't got any interesting ones off the top of my head. You know, just, just that, you know, he was definitely a guy that, you know, he, you know, when I came in freshman, you know, he was on me hard, you know, but, you know, he just, he just told me that he, he, he was on me hard, you know, because he saw a lot in me, you know, just the trust in him. You know, so I, I got yelled at a lot, you know, my freshman year. But, you know, as the years went on, you know, going into my senior year, you know, Coach Saban was a guy, you know, we definitely had a close relationship. You know, I definitely love him. All right, so let's switch from college football to National Football League. What are you going to be able to bring to the Atlanta Falcons? Uh, I'm going to bring a player, you know, that's you know, going to give everything he has, um, you know, play in and play out, um, you know, versatility. And, you know, a guy, you know, that's a tremendous leader on, on the field and off the field as well. You're going to be joining a secondary unit with guys like Richie Grant and Jesse Bates the third. What excites you about playing with these two guys in particular? Um, you know, those guys, you know, they're great safeties. Um, you know, they have a great secondary, um, you know, a great team that they're building over there. So, you know, I'm just excited, you know, to get there, uh, you know, get to know everyone, you know, just get to work. All right, last question for you, and I'll let you get back to celebrating with your family because this is a really big moment for you. What is something off of the football field that many Falcons fans might not know about you? Uh, I say, you know, I, my, I always spend a lot of time with my dog. You know, I got a dog while I was in college, you know, because I stayed by myself. And, you know, he's definitely someone that, you know, would be coming with me to Atlanta. All right, what's the, what kind of dog is it and what's their name? Uh, he's an XL American bully. Uh, his name is Nino. Nino? Yeah, Nino. All right, well, if you bring him to training camp or when you get here for rookie minicamp, I can't wait to meet Nino. So thank you for taking the time. Congratulations, and welcome to Atlanta. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for having me.